Today I'm going to demonstrate the current state of the auto park feature in Tesla Full Self Driving Supervised 12.3.4. This version seems a bit improved, but I'm going to try some parallel parking here in the neighborhood. There's a slight curve in this area. We'll start out with an open space in front and a car behind and see how it goes. So it's driving as if there's another car in front to give some room. And you can see in the rear camera where we wind up. So this seems like a pretty normal parallel parking exercise. So let's go ahead and try another spot. This one's going to be a little tougher. Again, there's a slight curve to the left in the road here, and there are two cars parked in normal position. The space is adequate for parking, certainly bigger than the car. So let's see what happens. It does get pretty close to this blue car, but then it picks an angle that you can already tell is going to fail. I'm looking at the line behind the car, and I found it got incredibly close, a lot closer than a human driver would to both the car in front and the car in back during the course of this attempt at parking, probably within a few inches. I kept waiting to hear the car touching the other car. It was close enough to show the red, for example. So it almost looks like it's trying to crab walk its way in rather than trying to back deep into the parking space. And this is what our third pass. Moving in a few inches each time to work our way over towards the curb. It doesn't really look like it has much of a plan here other than just to creep a little bit at a time. So this time I'm going to try to do the parking job myself that the car failed to be able to do because of course a human would be better. And as I said before, I'm going to try and pull deeper into the space, which is what I think the car should have done. And I'm cutting it pretty close to the car in front, much as the car did, but looks like I'm going to go into the curb, so this trial is a fail. <clears throat> but I don't think it's going to take me 10 trials to get in there. <clears throat> so let's try it again and just not go quite as deep, but still deeper than what the car attempted to do. Because again, there's plenty of space here. And this time, while taking my time, we're going to slide right in without too much trouble. So this spot has cars at front and back. It has even more space than the previous. So we'll see how the auto park does. So again, it's not really backing into the space here. Not by very much. And with the turning radius of the Model Y at least, it just doesn't really look very likely that it's going to work. So we pull forward again. Backs up a little bit deeper into the space. 
all kinds of room in the front there. But it's afraid to go very deep even trying to go front end. Imagine if this were a busy street with lots of traffic waiting on this parking to occur. So let's try the Walgreens parking lot. We've got plenty of spaces to choose from. I'll take the last one. Last one marked. Which is the next to the last space. I guess we weren't close enough to see that last one. This should be pretty easy because there's no cars parked around. My experience has been this back end parking into straight parking spots has been pretty much flawless. Though it looks like this time we went a little bit too deep into the space. We may be encroaching a little bit. That's very unusual. But it doesn't seem to have much difficulty with this even when there's cars around. Day or night and even poor quality stripe seems to do okay. So let's try another one. So here we got a truck parked sideways and an SUV in the area. So let's take the second spot there and ask for that. There's the car over there to my right. Patiently waiting for us. We didn't quite like that, so it's still going to move over a little bit and get us a better positioning. It usually parks us exactly in the center of the space. And usually leaves anywhere from a few inches to a foot before the back line, in this case a curb, instead of just a stripe. So that looks like that was done perfectly. Okay. Now we got another space opened up across the way there with the car on either side. So let's ask for that one. You have to be stopped to actually start the process. But it doesn't matter if you're before the space or after the space. And we do have cars on either side. So hopefully we don't exchange any paint. Some heavy contrast from shadows with the late afternoon sun. And first try, pretty much perfect. So that was reasonably safe. So let me see if I can find another challenge for it. So I'm driving into the public's parking lot where most of the parking spaces are nose in, angled with the flow of traffic. And look down at the screen and you can see none of these spaces appear because nose-in parking is just not an option with the auto park, and these are not considered eligible parking spaces. The only two options that are available are to back into a straight perpendicular space or to do parallel parking. And if you watch this video from the beginning, you can see we tried three different parallel parking spaces. We were successful on the first one and unsuccessful on the second two. 
and we did three or four back in perpendicular parking spaces over at the Walgreens and with a hundred percent success rate. But here as I drive along looking at all the open spaces here and none of them appear on the auto park screen. So that wraps it up for this time. What's your experience been with auto park? Do you use it or not? Do you trust it? Leave a comment below. Until next time, see you later.